Menopause is a life-changing transition that all women eventually experience. For most women, it occurs in their 40s or 50s, but for some, it can happen as early as their 30s or as late as their 60s. It can bring with it a myriad of symptoms that can impact daily life, both physically and emotionally. And in some cases, these symptoms can be severe. With us today to better inform us about how menopause occurs and what effects it can have on a woman's body are Dr. Sylvina Levis and Trudy Simon, nurse practitioner. Welcome, ladies. Dr. Levis, I know that most women know that we're going to go through menopause at some point, but I'm not sure that we really know what happens to our body. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, menopause is a series of natural biological changes that occur in women when the ovaries stop producing estrogen, the female hormone, and when fertility ends. And most women occurs between the ages of 45 and 55, usually at age 51. It can be natural or it can be surgical. That is when the ovaries are removed surgically, usually when a hysterectomy is done. And most times women who have a surgical menopause have symptoms that are much more severe. So we hear a lot about symptoms. There's a wide range of symptoms that can happen. Can you tell us what we should look for and what is happening when these things occur? The uh, most common are hot flashes, night sweats, and vaginal symptoms. The hot flashes are a feeling of um, flush, being flushed and heat and perspiration in the upper body. It can be more or less severe depending on the woman and also more or less frequent, just a few uh, here and there or even every hour. When these hot flashes occur at night, we call them night sweats and they will disrupt sleep. So many times the women are tired and irritable the next day because they have not slept well. Trudy, you see a lot of women who are going through menopause. Can you talk a little bit about how severe those hot flashes can be? Yes, well, it's estimated that 50 to 90 percent of women experiencing menopause will have hot flashes. But the severity of hot flashes varies from woman to woman. Some women have just minor changes. Other women have severe symptoms. This is a phase. Menopause is a new phase in a woman's life. And it's a good idea to view this change as positive, focus on the positive by eating right, exercising, and having a healthy lifestyle. This can help with the transition. And Dr. Levis, are there long-term effects to menopause or other risks that we should think about? Definitely, osteoporosis is one of them. Mm -hmm. Osteoporosis, unlike hot flashes, initially does not bring any symptoms. That's why it is called the silent disease. Mm -hmm. There is bone loss over the years until a fracture occurs. Osteoporosis is the loss of calcium, the loss of bone mass, and makes the bone very susceptible to fractures. So certainly our physician is a very good resource for us if we're thinking about menopause, or we should be. And are there other resources that we can go to to find information? Yes, there are very good websites. Uh, for example, the American Menopause Foundation has a website, AmericanMenopause.org. Also, the North American Menopause Society has a nice website, menopause.org. Additionally, uh, nomenopause.com is a good website where you can go through a checklist of your symptoms and then take that list to your doctor to discuss it with him or her. Well, thank you, ladies, for bringing thank us you. up to date and starting this discussion on menopause. Well, our topic today is menopause and its many effects on a woman's life. Later on in the show, we'll have some guests who will share their own experiences with menopause. Stay with us as we discuss some of the health risks and potential long-term effects of menopause coming up next.